What if you do if you won the lottery? Today, the Broward County Commission honored a lottery winner who has done everything he can to give back to the community. CBS 4's Maribel Rodriguez is live in Fort Lauderdale with more on today's ceremony. Maribel. Hey, Elliot, it was great. He was here with his family, and it really is refreshing to hear these stories. We often hear of lottery winners who blow their millions, but not Miguel Pilgrim. He is on a mission to invest in the community. It's Tuesday, February 6th. Today is Miguel Pilgrim Day in Broward County, Florida. A special day for a very generous and caring man. Miguel Pilgrim being honored by the Broward County Commission for giving back to the community in a big way. How are you feeling? Outstanding, outstanding. I um, was just awarding a proclamation that today is Pilgrim, Miguel Pilgrim Day. And I uh, wanted to thank, you know, County Broward for proclaiming for the things that we've done. For the past seven years, Pilgrim has been sharing his fortune with others. In April of 2010, he won $52 million in the lottery, taking a lump sum of $29 million. And when luck struck, he knew he had to do good. It's so easy to just walk away. And I'm not about the easy path. I wasn't raised that way. There's so much historical culture that needs to be preserved. The ONE'S GLOBAL SECURITY ADVISOR FOR Norwegian CRUISE LINES IS NOW ON A MISSION TO PRESERVE NEIGHBORHOODS LIKE CISTRUNK. Uh, IT REMINDS ME OF WHERE I WAS RAISED IN MEMPHIS, WHICH NO LONGER HAS the, THAT HISTORIC ASPECT. Uh, THERE'S AN OPPORTUNITY TO SAVE SO MANY DIFFERENT, um, SO MUCH OF THE HISTORY AND LITERATURE THAT HAS COME TO BE PART OF THIS COUNTY'S FIBER. AND I THINK CISTRUNK IS A BIG PART OF THAT. AND HIS MOM COULDN'T BE PROUDER. I'm a proud mama. <laughs> yes, I like it. I love it. So what's the best advice Pilgrim has for others wishing to win big? Get yourself right first before you wish to things that you have no idea how they're going to affect your life. And the work ethic doesn't change. If you're hardworking prior, you'll be hardworking afterwards. It doesn't change. You don't just go to an island and relax unless that's who you were from the beginning. Great advice from a very smart and lucky man. He is also opening up a jazz lounge, launching a clothing line, and invests his time with several organizations like the Boys and Girls Club and the United Way. We wish him the best of luck and may his fortune multiply. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Maribel Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.